What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you the update uh, in uh, Mark Basile and uh, Drew Diligence confrontation. Then I will continue with other news and I will show you my own uh, speculation regarding the upcoming news uh, and I will show you that potentially we are at the edge of uh, some kind of uh, resolution of uh, the entire MMTLP problem. And on top of that, I will show you an update uh, from other people who are trying to solve this problem. And uh, before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, and drop me a line in the comment section. For now, it is extremely important to unite, and unfortunately, inside our community we have uh, completely different opinions regarding the upcoming uh, actions, and these disagreements might hurt us uh, in our way to solve this problem. So, and let's start uh, with the Mark uh, Basile update. Uh, you will probably saw my previous video, and uh, yesterday I have showed you that uh, we have a confronta confrontation inside our community between uh, Drew Diligence and Mark Basile. And uh, Mark Basile's opinion is that uh, we have uh, to use any possibility that uh, might uh, bring us to the victory. And even if uh, we have uh, to collect some money and to give this money to some uh, new company that uh, should be our another headliner, so be it, and we have to use this possibility as well. But due diligence opinion is completely different. As far as we don't uh, realize all the current uh, possibilities uh, in regarding our case, definitely we shouldn't uh, uh, collect any money at all and pay it upfront uh, to some unknown companies uh, in order to uh, have, uh, on his opinion, a mysterious opportunity to solve uh, the problem. And I don't want uh, to dive deep into their initial uh, tweets. You can uh, watch my previous video or read it by yourself on Mark Basile Twitter account or on the New Diligence Twitter account. I just want to pay your attention on some updates. And Mark Basile 17 hours ago added, Actually, your point uh, is an attempt to undermine uh, the efforts of those trying to officially organize. Plain and simple. Because uh, you choose uh, to post that uh, during this apparent uh, raging debate. There is no other explanation for it. It wasn't a PSA. It was intended to cut doubt uh, by advancing uh, a narrative uh, that they will pay themselves in blind no one should support them. It's uh, crystal clear. It's unfortunate because uh, I had thought uh, you were one of the smartest contributors to this movement. But in my humble opinion, you got caught up in the drama and aren't seeing the benefit of utility. So, be it. And uh, while you may have been uh, here since the torchlight days, don't uh, misdirect my intention of my post. What have you done other than space calls to get uh, to a resolution? And uh, I have to say that Drew Diligence answered uh, on this tweet uh, and uh, he didn't... Uh, respond directly to it, but uh, he posted uh, this tweet and uh, he made a lot of, uh, I have to say that due diligence is one of the active, uh, the most active uh, members of our community. And uh, definitely he's done a lot. He didn't uh, file any lawsuits uh, uh, like uh, Mark Basile and uh, his uh, firm do, but definitely he is one of the most active actors uh, on this field. And uh, that is why we have uh, to uh, at least respect uh, his uh, efforts, because uh, he's done a lot to this uh, point. On top of that, uh, I want to pay your attention that uh, he answered on the tweet of uh, uh, Snorri Fay, and uh, I have to say that uh, this person is also quite interesting person. And uh, let me show you one of uh, his uh, tweets that was retweeted by Tony's uh, tweets. And uh, on July 22nd, he wrote, Somebody is really desperate to erase the next bridge hydrocarbons uh, oil asset. All Torchlight articles in Reuters are now 404. This means the page uh, is not found. Here is the link uh, to the geology report verifying 3.2 billion barrels of uh, sweet light crude oil. And uh, here is the link, and uh, definitely, if uh, it is the reality, and guys, for now, it is just my own speculation, 
but uh, this uh, Twitter ignites some new thoughts uh, in my head. And here's what I'm thinking about. So, if someone has uh, an opportunity to erase all the articles uh, in Reuters, and Reuters is one of uh, the biggest uh, informational services uh, in the world, and if uh, they have this uh, ability to uh, delete all the articles, uh, this uh, means uh, someone doesn't want uh, to spread the information regarding next bridge hydrocarbon assets. And uh, this uh, might lead to only one conclusion. We are nearing to some kind of settlement that uh, should uh, be with the lowest possible price uh, of uh, next bridge hydrocarbon assets. And to do it, definitely, they should uh, make uh, a lot of uh, work in order to push uh, the potential value of this asset down. And uh, one of the ways how they can do it is just to delete all the articles regarding uh, the real numbers uh, of the oil and gas assets uh, in our ground basin. And definitely, in general, in this type of cases, we have to rely only on official uh, data from uh, some analytic firms. But uh, to avoid a huge wave of negativity from uh, uh, retail community, definitely they should uh, remove all the mentions uh, about the value of uh, next bridge hydrocarbon assets. And uh, guys, this is just my opinion and my own speculation. And you have to use my words with a grain of salt. So, and uh, let's continue with other news. We are still uh, working on uh, the resolution of this problem. And let me show you that uh, Paul T uh, made uh, this tweet and uh, he basically uh, published uh, this uh, screenshot. Uh, that is basically a conversation with uh, Lauren Spicer. And uh, let me show you that uh, she is a congressional candidate uh, in Florida 22nd, uh, 22nd district. And right here you can read. Hey Lauren, I'm wondering if you or your team has heard about MMTLP. Known your congress as the MMTLP fiasco, largest financial crime in history, in progress. And he added uh, the screenshot of uh, the letter that was uh, made by Ellie Crane. And uh, she answered, yes, we are aware. And this means more and more people from the Congress and uh, people who are willing to be a congressman are aware of our situation. And before the election season, this problem might be solved uh, because of uh, the higher activity of the congressman and higher activity on the market in general. So, let me show you further. Paul T. also made this tweet three hours ago. And uh, he published uh, two samples of uh, the timelines, MMTLP timelines. And uh, his uh, screenshots are made uh, based on the due diligence uh, information. And I have to say that uh, this is one of the best uh, visual representations of uh, this uh, problem. And shout out to Paul T. because he's also one of our active uh, members. On top of that, uh, let me show you the Richard Hoffman's uh, Twitter account. Just several hours ago, he published another video on his YouTube channel. And I highly suggest you to follow his uh, YouTube channel and uh, to follow his uh, Twitter account, because uh, he is uh, another headliner and he is in the process of litigation with FINRA and in the process of uh, arbitration with Fidelity. And uh, he published uh, this uh, video. It is a live stream uh, with uh, J.R. Ewing. And uh, in this uh, live stream, uh, they are discussing the problem of MMTLP and how other cases, uh, the cases uh, from other companies uh, that were targeted by naked shorters, might help us uh, to win our battle. And definitely it is uh, very interesting and important information if you want to dig deeper. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.